Hello everyone, I am alive and it's good to be alive. Alright, today I'm looking at Mesa because it is a frame that I have severely overlooked and underappreciated. I've always had Mesa for a very long time now, ever since she came out, but uh, I don't know. I, I wasn't really digging her. Uh, I pretty much just built her for her ultimate ability, which is Peacemaker. Um, so I went like straight efficiency and power strength and all that jazz, and she was just too squishy for me, and I just didn't like it. And that's just because stupid me was building it wrong. So I went back to her because she got her new Grax Tenogen skin, which was really nice. So I was like, maybe I need to go back and try Mesa. And lo and behold, it is actually really, really fun to play as Mesa now. I, I don't know why I never realized this before. Ballistic Battery is a skill where you cast it, and then if you look at your skill icon at the bottom right of the screen, you'll see a little zero. That is how much your ability is charged. Oh god, I'm about to die. How lovely. You'll notice that when I deal damage, the number fills up. I deal so much damage that it pretty much instantly filled up to 100. And essentially what that does is it allows you to prime the next round in your gun. So I'll recast it. And that basically means my next shot is going to deal, deal a severely amped amount of damage, which I will now show you. Yeah, pretty much obliterated that guy. And he's a level 100, I believe. Although I believe, yeah, regular dread pretty much already obliterates these level 100 enemies, but you get the point. Her next ability is Shooting Gallery, which is really nice because it increases your damage permanently and will then rotate to one teammate at a time, buffing their damage as well. For me, it will buff my and teammates' damage to 32.5%. It'll last 54 seconds, and it has a power range of 17 meters. Power range? Why, you ask? Why would it need power range? Well, allow me to show you. Alright, I now have 10 level 100 elite lancers here, and when I cast my shooting gallery ability, you will notice... Oh! Oh, are you having a hard time with that? It causes enemies' guns to jam within the radius of your ability and also within the radius of the ability that has been casted to your allies. So if you want this cast on your allies, it's not hard. It essentially will just take turns. After a few seconds, it'll rotate to a new teammate and it'll just keep going until everyone's had it. But you get this buff permanently, which is very nice. And again, that plays into why I have the rifle amp augment not augment, but aura mod on her, because on top of the rifle amp damage that I'm going to be getting, I also get bonus damage from my shooting gallery power. Her next ability is Shatter Shield, which is quite possibly one of her best. It reduces her incoming damage by 95%. It'll last 45 seconds for me, and it has a power range of 11 meters. This ability has power range because bullets that you deflect with your Shatter Shield have a chance of getting shot back at enemies, which is fantastic. So let me show you guys how well this works. Level 100 enemies should obviously kill me very quickly, but if I come over here and just stand in between all these level 100 enemies with Shatter Shield active, You'll notice I'm still taking a decent amount of damage, but look at this. It's taking them a good while to kill me. This significant... And then there's grenades. <laughs> this ability significantly makes you harder to kill. It's great against projectile enemies like Corpus and Grenier. It's not very effective against the infested, although what I can tell you and confirm is that the acid puddles and the gas clouds put out by infested do get their damage reduced by Shatter Shield. So it does help you somewhat against the infested. Uh, on top of that, your shooting gallery ability can also disrupt the enemies or jam the guns of the infested. It doesn't really jam their guns. It basically just stuns them and makes them look all confused and stupid as to like, they don't know where they are. And last but not least, the icing on the cake, what I used to think was her only good ability, Peacemaker. Essentially, this is just an auto aim hack bot <laughs> you, ju you just basically have this red ring around your screen and you can auto shoot anything inside of it it's also very cool because this ability now takes mods from whatever you have on your secondary weapon and surprisingly enough with the duration build that i have instead of straight efficiency it's still not that expensive to use so i'm gonna go ahead and use it now so you can see how it functions Mine's probably not going to be very useful against these level 100 enemies but you can see my god how fast it shoots 
and how easy it is to aim this thing. Basically, you just have to make sure enemies are within the red circle while holding the shoot button and your auto aim is going to pretty much do the rest. Unfortunately though, the more you shoot it, the smaller your aiming reticle is going to get so that you can't just stay in this forever because they recently reworked Mesa. Before they reworked her, you literally didn't even have to aim it. Like I could be looking this way and that guy over there would get shot. So it was a bit OP and now it's kind of fun because it's more interactive and I honestly have no problem with that. I'm going to use all of Mesa's powers combined together so I can just kind of show you guys why I like her so much and why I think she's such an effective frame. <laughs> that I simulated just now are at least level 100 I believe so obviously she's a pretty good frame I wasn't taking too much damage uh, most of the time if I was taking damage it's because I was just standing still and not playing how I would actually play she's really fun her peacemaker ability like I said it's not so helpful with my build once I get into higher waves but it is really nice for clearing out large crowds of uh, medium to low level enemies with ease and just kind of save you a lot of work I guess but she's super Super fun if you want to get her though um, it's a little bit of a hassle you basically need to kill uh, infested Alad V and you basically need mutilist Alad V nav coordinates to do that which you get from infested uh, alerts and things like that I will have a link in the video that will take you to the wiki page that will explain it much better than me it's gonna have like a whole list step by step of everything you need to do if you want to get her but I think she's worth it I'm having a ton of fun with her as well she has a natural affinity for secondaries and it's it's just so much fun to play as her I've been really enjoying it lately and I hope you guys can get her too if there's anything else you'd like me to cover please drop a comment down below thank you for supporting my channel and I will see you guys in the next video peace Thank <laughs> you.